Yogi. Hi, this is Yogi Berra. When you come to the park in the road, take it. Hall of Famer, catcher, Yogi Berra. The St. Louis area has produced a number of outstanding baseball players, but none more accomplished than Lawrence Peter Berra. Yogi's father, Pietro, immigrated to America from Italy in 1909. Eventually, his wife and two sons followed. On May 12, 1925, Yogi was welcomed into the family. The Barras were a poor family, lived on Elizabeth Avenue on the hill in South St. Louis. Yogi was bored with school and quit after the eighth grade. He had odd jobs just so he could play baseball. His father knew nothing about baseball, but Yogi's older brothers convinced him to let Yogi play that American game. He grew up across the street from his boyhood friend, Joe Garagiola. At age 15, he and Joe went to a tryout with the Cardinals. They offered to sign Joe for $500. They offered Yogi only $300. He said no. Eventually, the Yankees offered Yogi the $500 and signed him. Good move. Into the minor leagues on a Class B team, Yogi reportedly drove in 23 runs in a doubleheader. While playing in the minors, he was drafted and went into the Navy. Yogi was there for the historic Normandy invasion in 1944. After the war, Yogi was back in the minors, but it wasn't long before he found himself in Yankee Stadium wearing the pinstripes at age 22. Yogi hit a home run in his first major league at bat. Barra swings and that one's gonna leave the ballpark. Well, what do you know? Larry Barra, they call him Yogi, his very first time at the plate in the major leagues against the A's, and what does he do? He hits a home run. He played 18 seasons with the Yankees and became one of the most celebrated players in the history of that great franchise. He was the American League's MVP three times. Yogi was passionate and excelled, despite being told many times that he was too small and couldn't make it. He proved them all wrong. He knew how to win. Check out these numbers. He appeared in 14 World Series and has enough series rings for every finger and thumb, 10. Yogi holds a host of World Series records, most games, at bats, most hits. And he caught the most famous World Series game in history, Don Larson's perfect game in 1956. Yogi was called a bad ball hitter. His philosophy was simple. If he could see it, he could hit it. He was a 15-time All-Star. After his brilliant playing career, he managed both the Yankees and the New York Mets. Yogi was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown in 1972. One of his proudest moments was the opening of the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center in New Jersey. Without question, one of the best catchers in the history of baseball. Few athletes can be identified by just one name, but Larry Berra can. Just call him Yogi. The St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame welcomes home Yogi Berra. Thank you for this great honor. I wish I could be there with you tonight. The problem is I've been real busy, too busy, throwing out first pitches with the first lady, riding championship parades. You all know the Yankees won, right? St. Louis is always home to me. Growing up, I always wanted to play for the Cardinals, but they didn't want me. So let me congratulate all the other St. Louis Hall of Famers and let me thank my niece, Lorraine, my sister Josie's daughter, for accepting this honor for me. Thank you for making this night necessary. God bless.